So you may well have met this concept of completing the square before, but it's likely that you've only met it as a, a process, a thing that you just do to a quadratic, okay? What we're gonna be doing is, I wanna, I wanna show you kind of like where those words come from, where this idea of completing the square actually comes from, but also I want to show you what it does, what it means, um, what it tells us, because we must be able to use it for something, okay? So, x squared plus 8x plus 20, we'll work with this as an example. So, x squared plus 8x plus 20, if we thought about this um, visually, then we could draw the x squared as a little, a little square, okay, that is of side length x times x, because that would make our x squared, okay? It's some, it's some little square, okay? And then we've got 8x. Well, 8 times x, that's got to be some kind of uh, rectangular shape, because it's got to have the same kind of width dimension um, that we have here for the square, because we've got the x, but it's going to be 8 long. So we could draw it as x uh, times 8, okay? So something like that and that would give us our 8x. And then 20, well, it's a bit difficult to draw that, but you could kind of draw it as some, some square, okay, that is of uh, size 20, okay? So the whole idea is that if I break this uh, block here in half, what I'm able to do is if I cut it in half there, I can put this lower half, which will now be of length, so we can have that as uh, 4 and 4, I can pop that onto the end here, so I could have this block here, which is now of length 4, so this would give me the 4x, okay, so I can get rid of that bit, and then this half I can turn and put there instead. Okay, to maintain the same dimensions, okay? So that's 4. So this is 4x, and that's 4x, okay? And then what I've got is this big gap down here, and this is the idea of completing the square. This is what we're actually doing. We're completing this square diagram. So this square has area 4 times 4, so that's 16, OK? And clearly, what I've got here is I wanted 20. So I've got here 16. I've got 4 remainder that I've got to add on. So I've got this little block of 4. So visually, what this is representing is I've got x plus 4 times x plus 4, so x plus 4 squared, and I've got this extra plus 4 on the end, okay? So that's actually what's happening. That's how, what completing the square is actually doing. Now, in practice, we don't draw um, a diagram to go with it. So what we do instead is we go through the process of saying, well, we're going to open up a bracket and have x plus half of this number. So half of the 8 is 4. OK, and we're going to square that. And then we take away whatever this number is squared. It's always take away, and it's always taking away this number squared. So take away 4 squared, and we've got this plus 20 left over. OK, so I... Right, x plus half of that value there, that coefficient, so x plus 4 squared, take away 4 squared plus the 20. So I've got x plus 4 squared minus 16 plus 20, which gives us the x plus 4 squared plus 4. So it's likely you've learned a, a similar process to this and haven't really understood why we call it completing the square in the first place. So what we're going to do in the next video is go through some more examples of completing the square of this form, OK? And then we'll move on to examples where we don't have x squared, we have something like 2x squared or 3x squared.